What is going on guys, it's Trevor from Treblog HD here and today I'm doing something a bit different than what I usually do. Uh, basically what it is, is just my top 5 phones that I'm looking forward to the most this year in 2015. Uh, I don't know what they're going to look like yet but hey, that's the whole point of this video. Anyways, stay tuned. The first phone I'm looking forward to, it has to be the HTC, their new flagship. Uh, we don't know what they're going to call it yet. Um, could be the HTC One M9. We don't know, but HTC have always managed to deliver when it comes to big flagship phones. I mean, if you look at the original HTC One, the HTC One M8, both really, really fantastic phones. Uh, I'm pretty sure they even took the Phone of the Year awards uh, in 2013 and 2014 as well, because... HTC, like I said, they always deliver really, really great phones. Main thing with HTC has to be that beautiful design that they always, always put on their body. They always tend to make really, really solid built phones that are really steady to hold in the hands. They're beautiful to look at. You know, dare I say it, they're the only company that can actually compete with Apple in terms of actual phone design and how beautiful their phone is. And I think HTC for the past two years have actually taken that title from Apple because their phones are absolutely beautiful uh, on number two I have to give it to the Galaxy S6 okay as most of you guys know there have been a lot of rumors about what the phone is gonna look like how big the phone is gonna be especially if you check GSM Arena they always have some sort of information related to the Galaxy S6 you know the build quality and all that other kind of stuff so it's gonna be interesting to see what Samsung do this time around because I mean in the past Samsung have been slated about their build quality on their phones but if you paid attention to the last few phones that brought out, like the Alpha, the A5s, the Note 4, they've kind of changed the design a bit, you know, putting more metal on their phones, you know, making them, you know, better. And like I said, it's going to be really, really interesting to see what Samsung has to offer, you know, on the S6. Because, uh, again, the S5 was a great phone, probably the one of the best-selling Android phones from last year. But it was slated again for the build quality that the phone had and that's always been an issue with Samsung. And another thing with Samsung as well is the TouchWiz interface. Okay, um, and if I mentioned uh, in one of my past videos, um, you do tend to get a lot of lag on Samsung phones. Uh, I'm, I don't know, maybe the, the interface is heavy, like a lot of people always tend to complain about. And I kind of somewhat agree with that because it is kind of heavy, touch with these heavy, so it'll be interesting to see how Samsung can tone that down a bit if they do, we hope. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the S6 is going to stack up. My number three phone has to be the iPhone 6S or iPhone 6 Plus S. If it is, or maybe they might surprise everybody and bring out an iPhone 7. Yeah, we never know. But anyways, I'm really looking forward to seeing the new iPhone because uh, Apple have always been, you know, the main guys to compete against in terms of the smartphone world. And I'm pretty sure Apple will want to keep that title, you know, intact. I mean, I don't think they want anybody knocking them down off that title anytime soon. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what Apple have to offer on their newer phones for this year. So it's going to be really interesting, guys, because, um, I mean, phones nowadays, they're really, really advanced to a level where we keep thinking, like, what more can they possibly do to a phone to make them better? So it's going to be interesting to see Apple, you know, one of the leading smartphone manufacturers in the world, to see what they are actually going to do on the newer phone. On number four, we have to give it to the Sony Xperia Z4 or Z4, uh, depending on where you live. Anyways, Sony have always made really great phones, but they've not always been on par with the other Android manufacturers like Samsung and HTC. They've always been looked down at, if that makes sense. I don't know why, but they've always been down at. They've never been really at the top. But again, it'll be interesting to see if Sony are going to bring out two flagship phones this year like they did last year with the Z2 and the Z3. Uh, like I said, personally, I don't have any issue with Sony. I mean, the Z3, I had so much fun with that phone. Great phone, really quick, really responsive. Uh, again, it's just really strange to see that Sony are not on par with the other guys, but it's going to be interesting to see what they're going to have to offer to get in touch with the other guys, you know, the Samsungs and the HTCs, and possibly try to go after the iPhone. Last but not least, I have to include the Microsoft Lumia phones since they bought the Lumia line from Nokia. Um, I've seen one of the phones, uh, not seen it in person, you know, I've read about it and stuff. 
Um, it's going to be really interesting, again, to see what Microsoft can do better that Nokia failed to do with the Lumia lineups. Um, see if Microsoft are going to push up to sell more phones or whatever, or they're going to add more features, whatever they're going to do. It's going to be really interesting to see what Microsoft can do. I mean, they've got the money to, you know, do the research that they need and, you know, marketing, advertising. They've got all the money to do all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, it's going to be really interesting to see what Microsoft are going to do to make the Lumia line better. Okay, guys. So, anyways, that was my top five phones that I'm looking forward to the most this year. Uh, I know I didn't include certain manufacturers, you know, like Acer, Motorola, and all the other guys. But the reason why is that because I feel they don't really compete as high as the other guys do in the, you know, in the market. I mean, LG is another one I could have included, but then again, with LG, it's a bit of a hit and miss. So you don't really know what's going on with LG. But anyways, guys. I will keep you guys updated with more videos coming in the future and about the giveaway for the Moto E that's been announced in two weeks from today the day I'm uploading this video two weeks time guys so keep your eyes out on it you can still enter the competition if you want to uh, it doesn't matter where you are in the world again it will be sent out to you okay the phone will be sent out to you be unlocked version as well so you can put whatever sim card you want in there and I'll put the link in the description on how to enter the competition now just make sure you subscribe to the page following the Twitter page and you just tweet out Treblog HD Moto E yeah that's it with the hashtag on it but anyways guys I'm out thank you guys for watching peace